Hello everyone, MLG Noob here, and today I'm going to be making an updated video on my second video on YouTube ever, the tutorial on how to make custom spawn eggs in Minecraft. That that video was made in, I believe, 1.16.4. This video is made in 1.16.5. So, to be a little bit more clear, I decided to do commentary. Yay! I'm doing my first uh, commentary for this video. So here we are at the Minecraft uh, Creative World screen. You'll see I'm in Creative. Cheats are enabled. Um, there's the world name. And then everything else doesn't really matter. So I'm going to create the new world now and we're going to get right into the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in the world. And I'm just going to disable mob spawning for a second. So, game rule. Might as well turn off mob griefing. I, mob griefing falls. Hash game rule do mob spawning false. And then, kill, oh, then we're just going to kill all the mobs at E. I type equals player or player this should this should kill everything except for me so I'll just press it a few times because mobs are slime in fact okay so that is all the mobs gone so now what we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to give yourself a command block now I have a uh, command block saved in my hotbar, but I'll show you the command. So the command to get a command block, it's very simple. It's slash give at p or your name. It doesn't matter. Mine, mine, crap. Oops. Okay. One second. Command. Just hold on. Where is it? I don't need minecart. I just need command block. Enter. So that's how you get a command block. Once you get a command block, just place it down. We don't, I don't need that. Because again, like I said, I have it saved up here. And it's my texture pack, it's lightsabers. Okay, anyways. Um, so you're gonna wanna get something to activate your command block. And the reason why I pressed, uh, I crouched when I was putting on the button is because if you right click on a command block, it opens it. So the only way to place buttons is to crouch and do it. So, once you have that done, what you're going to want to do is I'm going to put a bunch of commands in the description of the video below. You're going to want to copy and paste one of those commands <coughs> from the description. And I, the first video showed you how to make these spawn eggs. In this video, we'll be covering how to make these spawn eggs. Yes, you're reading these correct. Uh, so, I'll give a little showcase of... No, 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 I'm not going to do a showcase. I'll let you see it for yourself. So what you're going to do is, hold on one second, let me pause, get one of the commands pasted, copied and pasted uh, from my notes. Okay, so I have the first command ready. So if I open the command block, oops, what happened? There we go. So that's the first command pasted. I press this. You'll notice this says fireball spawn egg. Whenever I click it, it's a fireball. And I can punch it and it will go flying. It's pretty cool. It's a little finicky. Uh, you do have to punch up. So if you punch down, it just explodes. So if you punch up, oops, you punch like the top of the fire, it will go up. Punch the bottom, it'll go down. Once you'll break a block because you're in creative. But that's how you do the... Um, and how I just did that just then is if you middle mouse click, it'll give you whatever the thing you're looking at. So I can do that with grass, dirt, whatever. Um, in creative, that is. It actually does work. So let's say you have the game mode survival. So if you do this in survival, it also works. It will switch automatically, even if it's like in your inventory, it'll bring it out into your inventory. But that's just a bonus little thing. <clears throat> Creative. Okay. Oops, 
Okay, so that's how you get the fireball spawn egg. The next spawn egg I'm going to be going over is oops, the lightning spawn egg. Okay, so let me just get that right now. Uh, where's the thing? Did I close it? I'm stupid. Okay, uh, I accidentally closed the text document <clears throat> that I have the commands saved on. Let me not do that this time. Okay, so here is how you get the lightning bolt. Um, so this should give me the lightning bolt spawn egg. There it is, lightning bolt spawn egg. And whenever I click with it, it spawns lightning. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the lightning bolt spawn egg. Next is... The minecart with spawner spawn egg. I, I have never seen this one before. Or I have, well, obviously I have, but like I never knew that this existed until I was just messing around with commands one day, and then bam, that just showed up. So here's the, um, the minecart spawn, the specific, this new minecart spawn egg. I don't know what update this was added in. Uh, it's fairly new, I know that much. Oops. That should be it right there. So then if I do this, it's, yeah. And by default, uh, spawners spawn pigs, but you can replace them. Let's put my brown mushroom cow in there. So now this should start spawning. Well, this still works anyways, but I don't know why it's not spawning them. Anyways, that doesn't matter. And it does work with minecart rails so if you place a rail and then you place this it does actually stick on them which is pretty cool so next the next spawning we're going to be going over is the final one the primed tnt spawning this one's pretty cool um it's pretty straightforward as to what it is so let's just get that command ready uh let me just copy and paste that okay that's copied Back to game. Bam. Okay, so this is a prim prim bleh, primed TNT spawn egg. So you'll notice immediately after I place it, it's already lit and it should explode shortly after. So there you go. That's straight up primed TNT. Primed TNT. And I might as well go over the other spawn eggs in case you haven't seen that video. In this video, I'll do that in this video just to show, hey, that video is not fake. That video is very much real. Um, you're seeing me do it right now. Li uh, well, not live, but he's <clears throat> making me go in this hole. <laughs> um, so let me just fill in this hole, and then we'll, I'll get on to showing you. For example, the like something like the giant spawn egg. I won't go over all of them, but I'll do something like the giant spawn egg. So let me just get that file open. Give me a second and close that one. Okay, so there's. Okay, I have it ready. So where's the giant, 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 giant? Aha! Here it is. So here is have the command copied for the giant spawn egg and I'm just doing this to show you that it still works um, what the heck oh I didn't paste it I'm stupid um, and there it is there's the giant spawn egg just like in the last video um, and no the command blocks do not have to be in the world for any of these to work. Uh, so let me just, yeah, I'll grab the giant, I'll grab the creeper, and I'll grab the minecart again. So there's the giant, there's the charged creeper. Now, you'll notice that um, these are just normal spawn eggs. It's not an entirely new spawn egg. It's the same as other, oops, other normal spawn eggs. Like this is just the skeleton spawn egg. The reason why that is is if you look closely at the commands in the description, it just takes a a, um, a spawn egg and says, "Hey, don't spawn this mob 
I don't know exactly how it works, but it essentially tells the command, the little, it tells Minecraft that this is supposed to spawn this mob and not that mob. This is used, I believe this technique is used in like a bunch of like servers and stuff like that. It's not too crazy difficult or anything. Um, why do I keep doing that? But yeah, I just wanted to show that the command still works uh, in 1.16.5. It sh uh, we'll see if it works in 1.17 when that does come out. Um, and I think that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And I know I'm being a very generic Minecraft YouTuber now, doing the whole third-person punching thing. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that this helped people. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.